about it. Ah, I bring it up then. No idea what you're talking about. you're talking about. Whatever. You, Sisyphus, attack or pursue this just as the ocean accepts the rivers of all the world. So this place accepts all the souls, but it does not say it. Then it is true. I thought, I thought I saw it, but when the rest of them could not, I kept thinking I must have gone insane. I had to tell myself it was true over and over again, until I wasn't sure if I was deceiving myself. I must apologize if my words seem cryptic. 
I'd found comfort in reciting the Metamorphoses by our great poet Ovid. He gives such an uncanny description of this place. I cannot help but wonder if he himself came here. Would you like to hear it? I will do my best. There is a downward path, gloomy with fatal yew trees. It leads through dumb silence to the infernal regions. The sluggish Styx exhales vapor, and by that way, the shadows of the newly dead descend, entombed with full rites, and the ghosts of those, at last, given proper burial. The wide, thorny waste is cold and pallid, and the newly arrived shades are ignorant of the road that leads to the Stygian city. As the ocean... There the others follow the... I hope I have done it just... And now we share a secret. It's as if you've lifted a great burden from my shoulders. Vote for Maliolus for a free drink at my tavern. Oh, do us all a favor and drink hemp. Yes, so what? What are you going to do about it? And why should I? The one true God says that for man to lie with another man is an abomination. His presence here is a, a threat to us all. A well, I don't know. Maybe God hasn't noticed yet. But when he does... Hmm. 
there is only one true God. And he laid waste to Sodom and Gomorrah because of exactly this kind of thing. I am doing that. If I was about to get everyone else killed, I would want someone to stop me. Thanks, man. <laughs> ah. Thanks. <laughs> I don't know when I forget when I did that, but oh well. I guess I was muted this whole time. Well, here it is. I was muted this whole time. So we are back with some more. <laughs> uh, yeah. Seems like nothing is going to change your mind. I don't like where this is going. I have no idea what you're talking about. And unless you want your jaw broken, I think it's best if you don't. Boom. He won't say it Sometimes anymore. I stare at the great temple on the black. Ah. Nice to. I have nothing to. <laughs> Wait. Did I persuade him or no? He's still not. He's still like not happy. I guess. I don't know why or what happened from last night to today, but the stream is like just being laggy. Like we were getting 60 frames yesterday and low FPS, but today, hold on, let me check thing. Oh wait, you know what? I might've just figured it out. This does it. But it shouldn't. It shouldn't affect that. <sighs> the only thing I can really think of is this. Yep, that's what it was. Yep, that's what it was. Okay. Well, now we know. Don't enable that. This thing that I enabled. <laughs> Citizen. Citizen. Talk to him. We're finally. We have? Wait, if I understand correctly, someone is about to break the golden. I must have entrusted you with fig. Is that about? Ah, look, it's unfortunate. But all that matters now is that you make use of what you've learned and gathered now. I assume you sought me out again. Of course. If you've stopped one person from breaking it and you're still here, then there must be someone else about... Allow me to explain. When I discovered the ritual ah, okay. to Proserpina, More the information. instructions came with a warning about paradoxes. 
but to illustrate. When the golden rule is broken, I will open the doorway that will bring you here to prevent it from being broken. If you manage to succeed in saving our lives, then I will have no reason to open the doorway, and you will never have come here. A paradox. The same thing would happen if you, say, inadvertently, allowed me to die. If I can't summon you, then you can't be here, obviously. If either of those things were given to understand, you would be flung back to your original time, having changed the course of history for us, and so the fact that you are still here means someone is going to break the golden rule. I think so. Excellent. It looks <clears> like <throat> you'll have to continue your investigation. Sextus Sentius Imperiosus is my name. Though, Magist, before I wound up, it's a... as... my... now the... the I was a... Very. I'm just gonna ask him these quick questions. If I did... You mean Duilius? Releasing him is out of the question, I'm afraid. Perhaps you're not aware he was caught. Look, I can see what it was not so long ago during the Republic. Here we see to a priv the man. I will not ask. Well, I believe as for the pe Good. I, I will our give the, the I thank. Okay, we asked them all the questions we could. So did we talk to this guy Horatius? Yeah, we did. Keep an eye out for Centilla, would you? What is it? What business? A lot of people have been looking for her. But it's been three weeks, and we've found nothing. What makes you think you can do better? I'm the new guy. Hmm. Did you notice anything suspicious before Centilla she went missing? Centilla was a kind, well-behaved young woman. I admit, if anyone knows something, I'd expect it to be Sentia, Maliolus, Claudia, or Domitius. But none of them will tell me anything. You might fare better, though, I suppose. Fine. All right. I can say I know what I, I know what you did to her. Hello, Maliolus. sir. Yeah. Us in Cooley just make it good. Hey, Cap at Murday, if you just make. Whoa, you must really want to see Maliolus. Let yourself in with it. Nice. Just make sure you give it back on your way out. Guess it, this is it? Yeah, unlock. Figure a way to get into his villa. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected your Let's see if there's anything inside of here. Captors, Malice, and Collect curse you. The depths. By the time you read this, I've already been dead. Because death is preferable by any day. Okay. A lot of food. Was this? I'm not supposed to be in here. Ah, uh, can we talk? Talk. What business could you possibly have? Are you locked My in this room? My marital affairs are no concern of. 
Okay, what's your story? I think a better question is, why am I being... I have quite enough marriage trouble already, without having to explain to my husband why I'm receiving strange men in... Do you know a way Preferably out of here? the way you came in. <laughs> I think it's about to be broken. The dainty little thing from next door. Of course... Well... Domitius! What? Are you serious? Did you really just say that? <gasps> Nobody's coming to help you. Do I need to call? What if I pull out a weapon? I'm like, die today. All right, let's talk to him. Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty tribute, so you must have been desperate to see me. My name is Marcus Maliolus Gurgis. You seem to have confused oh, you're me with someone else. You have one green eye and one blue eye. Like the description of this execution order from Emperor Nero. You, you mean my heterochromia? I am guilty of nothing more than having different colored eyes. And I'm hardly the only person with the condition. Alexander the Great had it too, as it happens. I like to think it is simply the way the gods have chosen to mark a natural-born ruler. Nothing more. I can't prove it's you yet, but I will. Well, <coughs> I am not suffering from any delusions, as today's election will firmly establish. Unlikely, because it simply isn't true. Your I'm story. Maliolus, and if it wasn't for this interruption, I'd be practicing my victory speech. I'm glad you asked. I'll finally restore free- These good people have- by declaring there's no such thing as the go- Wait, don't tell me you've fallen vic- Nonsense. There's no <laughs> way you can prove that if it was real. real and you'd seen someone break it, then you'd be dead already. I'm reliving the same day over and over again. The golden rule is broken each time. I found the book called The Myth of the Golden Rule. Whoever wrote it obviously died because they refused to accept the golden rule. What would it take you to prove it's real? Books notes. What? Oh, 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 I see what's happening here. Another poor, vulnerable soul taken <laughs> in by Sentius is... You mean that book next to a golden statue in the theater? Tell me, how do you know that statue wasn't put there by Sentius himself? Surely, you're not one of those people who believes everything you read. As if a lie could be transformed into the truth by the simple act of writing it down. I disagree. I'll be guided by what is best for the city's people, and that means giving them the freedom to do as they wish. True, but that is simply because you are mistaken. I'm afraid not. We're stuck down here. What do you think you about mean the children's? Of course not. But as I always say, look. If you're trying to find her, you may wish to check the cisterns beneath this villa. Demetrius says he's... Of course, just to be clear, I take... Look, if I had a Roman plaque in my possession, I'd be happy to sell it to you, hmm. but I don't sell... <laughs> Are you insane? I figured I'd you just straight up into ask. my villa, uninvited. Why would I withdraw... If you don't, I'm going to kill you. You fool. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Get out of here. Run!
the statues. I tried telling you, dude. No! Ah, oh, shoot. Oh no, where is it gonna reload me to? Oh wait, you know what? It's probably gonna be right where we have that conversation with him. The many. Alright, stranger. You hear that? Unlock. To withdraw. You are right. I Your story. I How we do that? What? What? He I. I. I just asked them all these questions, so that's why I'm going through this. Okay. Uh, all right. So he said there's a body supposedly underneath here somewhere. Uh, how do I get down there? What now? Listen. You don't know. Listen. Whatever. Okay. Uh. Oh, oh wait. Here's. Hey. One. You're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Yes, why? Nobody told you about Hannibal. Oh, why do I have to do every... So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. We used to go down into the cisterns looking for junk he could clean up and sell. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the cisterns are haunted. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed. Anyway, a few days later, he goes back in. And hours go by, and he hasn't come back out, yeah? So I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body. And hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. A creature. Like what any sane person would have done. I legged it out of there, and put a sign at the door to warn the others. Hmm. Well, it's your funeral. All right, I'm going down. Let's find out. <laughs> Golden statue. <laughs> They got him. Wait, it's not illegal to kill that thing. I mean, like creature take coin. looking at there's nothing up there take that and that okay a creative way into the upper cistern
There's golden bodies down there. I wonder how did, how did that guy turn into a golden statue but remained a zombie? That shows me that there's another way in there. Entering the cistern in a cave beyond, it appears to be crushed to the death after entering it. Okay, so we can swim. Let's run back here to this thing. All right, I'm gonna try swimming down there. So let me just save real quick. Says they're climbable if I had something to support my weight. Is that saying is that saying like I'm carrying too much or if I open up my inventory? I don't think I can really drop items. I was curious if I could actually kill that thing or not. What do you have? You have something in your hand. Can I take it? There's more arrows. I'm guessing that you can probably overflow this at some point. Okay. Uh, I guess we should probably just go back upstairs because I can't really do anything else. At least it doesn't it doesn't look like I can do much else right right now down here. So Back up we go. Load those textures, one sec. Okay. Let me talk to him. Let me tell him what I saw, if I can. What now? When Maliola... Whatever. Can I tell him what I saw down there? You are... Never mind. I trust. Can I talk to that lady again? Do I need to call? Ah, she won't talk to me. So you survived the system. Probably just a stroke of fortuna. Don't get cocky.
Um, we haven't gone up that way, so let's go up here. Also, where did, um, guy down there? You can't go it that way. I could go talk to that old man again, like I found the first time. The first day, and he was like, come back when you find out more. I was like, all right. Coin pouch. Where's this lead to? Interesting. Very interesting. I forget if I, I don't know if I come up here yet. It is saving, so I don't think I have. Great temple door. How can we pass this test if we don't know the rules? <gasps> Missing piece. Somebody removed a plaque from here. I need to find it to decipher the meaning of the obelisk. There's a pool. Right there. I'm going to see what happens. Wish me luck. Uh... Thank you. Oh my god. I am delighted and... Deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate. Magistrate, this is but there's a body. Thank you. I'm delighted and deeply honored to elect your magistrate. And, and now, <laughs> and now, uh, I make this solemn. There's literally a body down here. And now, and now, and now, I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Um, under my leadership, you will finally enjoy the freedom you deserve. You again. I try through. All right, now you've crossed the line. Get out of there. What the body down there? As a little so delayed. You survived the system. Probably just a stroke of Isn't the great temple Marve again? Can I ask some questions about Certainly. escaping? May uh, let me ask her other questions. Arve again. It must be completed by dusk. Just as it'll be. Why do you... Uh, it's allowed to vote. the male citizens who are willing and able to attend. Unless they're... Well, you're... But if it's any consolation, there are other ways to influence the outcome of an... Such as By using whatever gifts the gods get. I'm responsible for announcing it. I like the idea, but I know Galerius well, and his position has always been. It was only yesterday that he said to me he'd only ever run if it was absolutely so. I suppose if you'd like to see Galerius elected magistrate, you'd need to persuade Maliolus to withdraw. You can, assuming they're eligible. See you. Okay. Uh. So, so we went all the way up there. Where is Galerius, anyways? Whoop. 
This door is still blocked. Wait, what happens if I... Nothing. <laughs> Hilarious. Horatius? Oh, wait. Looking a bit troubled there. Some of them are here. Still no sign of something. Vote for Maliolus for a free right drink at my tavern. Don't be too hard on yourself. From what I hear, nobody Shall saw I? it coming. Anyway, I thought you Stoics weren't supposed to worry about things you can't control. Yeah, but I keep thinking. What if there is something I can do? What if she's out there somewhere suffering, waiting to be found? Sounds like you're torturing yourself. Leave that for the gods. Try to relax, get some rest. Tomorrow's a new day. I suppose you're right. Ah, it's you again. Now. Uh, what do you uh, think about? Even I. I've bounced, but from what I hear, Maliolus has the elect. And <clears throat> maybe that's. And how could you know that? I mean, I don't like the map. Tell me he doesn't believe in the golden rule. He's a dangerous fool. Well, in that case, we need to find a way to make sure Maliolus loses. Better yet, get him to withdraw altogether. If you can do that, and Sentius is the only candidate left, I'll run against him. Deal? Mm. Oh boy. Uh, I can't see. Even I. <coughs> All right. So and he says he'll he run. So all right. I'll do us all a favor. <laughs> She's so mad. Don't you just love springtime? Okay. Chest. There he is. Bottle of wine. Seems so much darker than the last time I was here. Like harder to see darker. had something that could climb I, there's got to be some sort of item that you can get that helps you climb up there uh da -da -da, figure out let's try doing this He gave all I now know. Hannibal. Yo. Oh, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I said. Uh. Who is this guy? Pleased to hit. 
see you. You look well, my Oh, this guy. Yeah, that's who I meant to talk to. And in a city full of Romans, you are asking me because I. My name is Georgios, yes. But the Romans, they do not care. They hear me say Georgios Isn't and the they think, ah, majestic. he must mean Georgius. Good Roman. They do this all the time. I am f at f But the plague. Uh, and besides. I hope that I. What if we've gone in here? Enter the cave behind the theater, then turn right at the first fork, and then the second. It's right uh -huh. there. Oh my god. Let me in. He has it. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I feel like we're starting to exhaust all of our options. I mean, I can go fight or replace that thing. This thing right here. He won't flatter us. Oh God. Into the shrine. Oh god, there's a bee's nest. Well, how am I supposed to get up there? Your chances, I'm afraid. The bow now, and don't even think about giving me the fake one. Hmm. I would reconsider my position quickly if I were you, but you're stuck in there with a hornet's nest, and they can be rather, you know, some say it takes 27 hornet stings to kill a man. Oh man, but I always wondered how anyone could have known that. Let's find out if they were right.
Uh, escape the temple. That's awesome. <laughs> Sponge stick. Another one. The algae. Ah, smart. I see. It's a good thing they leave us arrows. Wow. Oh, that's how the guy got crushed. He was down here. My beloved Galatea, I write this so that one day, when we're finally together, you will understand and why I had to do it. The others will call me mad or a monster, but I don't care what they think. Huh. Everything I'm doing here... It says I'm Tip, you can put this down and continue listening. I'll start at the beginning. Soon after my arrival here... As I walked down a corridor lined with golden statues, I thought I heard a whisper behind me. A rasp of air, as if vocal cords of metal strained to say a word or two. I tried to dismiss the idea, tried to concentrate on my work as the city's medic, but that tortured whisper haunted me. Weeks later, in the hallway to the bathhouse, I heard it again and found myself drawn to the statue of a Roman woman wearing a stola. Her face was contorted with anguish and fear, and disturbingly, it was as if she was looking right at me. As I walked past her, I heard that strange whisper again, and turning back... Maybe now that I, I can do this. Even though I knew, she was still looking right into my soul. Wow. This was my statue. This I didn't realize was that's how this was going to work out. Golden prison. But when I could not reproduce the results of my experiment, they would not believe me. But from that moment on, I knew the full horror of this place. Immobilized within these statues are living human beings. It was that day, my love. Oof. But my heart broke. Find a way into the palace. Found our way in. Oh no. Ah, kick. I think that's her. Said thank you.
supposed to be here. Whoa. I'm just here. There's a gold pouch. This way. This way. I'll go this way. Uh oh. Oh god. Oh, oh Jesus. <laughs> Gotta be quick. Wait, if I eat that loaf of bread, will that heal me? No, doesn't look like it. I was gonna say we should probably save soon. <laughs> Save again. Shoot. That's pretty cool. What is this lady gonna do? Like, Just more of them keep coming. Let's save right here. Knock them down. Oh. And now we're on this side. Key to the palace doors. 
My beloved Galatea, after I learned the terrible truth about the golden statues, I wandered the city as if in Oof. a nightmare. What must life be like for these poor souls? What? Entombed in gold, but kept alive somehow. Trapped in their own personal Tartarus. They put... to eternal torment. Oh, Jesus. Too horrific for any sane mind to comprehend. I tried to offer them what small mercies I could. I began to talk to them, to keep them company. I'd imagine she held them down and them, pulled the peeled the gold layer of off the of them. Of the histories and stories I'd learned as a child. As the others became more concerned by my charity, I sought solitude from them, preferring the company of my tormented charges. Discovering a way into the abandoned palace, I began to spend my days walking its halls and sharing with its occupants ancient tales, my mind turning to those of Apollo and Daphne, Perseus and Medusa, and Pygmalion and Galatea. Pygmalion and fell in love with the mythology, and who, praying to Aphrodite for aid, discovered that he was love with Galatea. You have to hit them in a spot. Forgive me. I know that is not your real name, just one I have borrowed from a story. But when I turned to look at you, I saw the most exquisitely beautiful woman I have ever known. What are we doing right now? Reach the front of the palace. No, your face forever frozen in a look of haunting sadness. Our meeting gave me new purpose, to free you from your golden prison, so that I might one day hear you speak, not just whisper, your true name to me. So I gathered tools for the long and difficult task ahead, barred the doors to this place, and set to work. Jeez. Kill them? You're stuck. I can't kick it out the way. Oh, here we go. And there might be ways around it, that's why. Can't go that way, anyways. Ouch. Thing we have plenty of arrows. There's another. My beloved Galatea, 
my attempts of freeing these souls from their golden prisons have not been going to plan. My first charge was a Greek woman, who I called Iodami, after the Athenian turned to stone by Medusa. Drilling through the gold that encased her, I was vindicated by the discovery that beneath half an inch of gold, which is so rigid it must be some kind of alloy, was living Jesus. Unfortunately, this golden alloy seems to have fused with her skin, so removing it, it exposed the sinew and muscle beneath, and appeared to cause her great pain. At first, I braced myself, expecting that inflicting such pain would break the golden rule, and yet, somehow, it did not. It seems whichever god is responsible for imprisoning these poor souls does not care about their suffering at all. They are forsaken. Undeterred, I pressed on, working late into the night, attempting to remove the golden layer that encased her as delicately as I could. Eventually, I was able to free most of her body, but when I released her from her restraints, her first act was to lunge for my throat, clawing at me with all her strength and those sharp metal talons. Oh, shit. Trying to save her. Whatever possessed me would only to attack, she was clearly not a suitable subject for my experience. Jesus. And I was forced to lock her inside an isolated wing of the palace and bar the door. As I continued working on others, I could hear her flailing and launching herself at the other side endlessly. Regrettably, my other experiments only its death didn't results, break the golden rule. And after relocating a few times, most of the palace is now too dangerous to work in. Still, as much as my heart aches to know that you're suffering, I cannot risk attempting to ungild you yet. Jesus. Not until I have perfected a method that will bring you back to me, whole in both body and ensuring your humanity is preserved. I promise you this. One day we will be together, even if I have to free every last statue in this god's forsaken place. Jesus, we can talk. Is that you? Oh shit. Ah, uh, hello. And you must be the wretched snake <laughs> who broke into my palace and disturbed my experiments. And worst of all, look at what you made me do to her. This never would have happened if. You're going to pay for that. Wait, 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 wait. If you attack me, we'll both up in case... ...in gold. And do you think I care about that? I don't care what happens to me, as long as you get what you deserve. I didn't do anything. Liar. I locked and barred the gate. I left a message warning you all to leave me alone. I just wanted to do my experiments in peace for her and now look at her you made me turn the most beautiful woman i've ever seen into this look at her she's in agony all i wanted was to spend my last moments with her to see her beautiful face to hear her speak freely instead of in those cryptic whispers but as soon as i began my work she stopped whispering to me and now I discover she started whispering to you instead. What's uh, so special about you? Not insane. A lot of them do, but it's all the same voice. I didn't hear any whispers. It sounded like you lost your mind. What do you mean the same voice? It's like someone else is whispering to me through the statues. Hmm. Yes. I remember when they used to whisper to me. They did sound similar. I just thought it was because all voices sound the same when they whisper, but now that I think about it, they were all benevolent and seemed to share a common knowledge. But if these bodies are mere conduits for that one voice, then this body is nobody, and 
Everything I've done here was... was... Wait, I see what you're doing. You're trying to steal her away from me. Were you planning to wait until I'd done all the hard work, then... Liar! You tried to steal her away from... Give me one good... I ended up here by accident and all I want to do is leave. What? What are you talking about? I got trapped in tunnels under the city and came up inside the Wait. palace. So you're saying you weren't coming for us? No, I never had any intention of hurting you. So I did all this. I ruined her for nothing. What have I done? Oh God, I feel sick. I am, I can't bear the thought of her being like this and in so much pain. It's the air coming into contact with her flesh. It's agonizing for them. But the only way to fix it will be to break the golden rule and let it run its course. At least that way she'd be golden again and we'd be together. All it would take is one little cut. I can undo all this if you tell me the treatment for... It's too late. There's nothing you can do. I have to do this. I'm sorry. No! I can cover her in gold again. What? How? Gold bow is a weapon that escapes in cases really? people in gold. I, I'm not sure I believe you. But if you can undo this mess, I'll tell you what you need to know. But if you're lying to me, I'll break the golden rule and kill you and everyone else in this city. Understood? All right, stand back. Damn. You Told you. Did it. You took away her pain. I don't know what to say. Thank you, thank you. I swear I will never harm her again. I swear it. Now we can't ask her any questions though. <clears throat> These poor souls. What can be done for them? I've tried everything I can. I fear the only one capable of releasing them properly is whichever god doomed them in the first place. In any case, I must honor our bargain. The treatment for rheumatism is willow bark. I believe there's a pot of it already in the Shrine of Apollo. Now, please leave. The door here leads out onto the palace balcony. You should be able to make your... Go. Uh, I'm sorry. Reach the palace front. Jeez. What a trip. <laughs> Isn't the great temple majestic? Ave again. Uh, I don't know if I found anything that I need. Wait, now let's go talk to that. That dumb person. Where are you, dude? I didn't realize that was going to be such a big plot there. <laughs> I thought there was just going to be like a fight or something like almost scary in a way. But it was not. Hello? Uh oh. It's time! The Lexion's on! Wait. Why is this here? Old chest.
Uh-oh. Uh Sentius, of course. Georgius. Maliolus. Dacius. Maliolus. Galerius. I abstain. I'm just here to observe. Virgil. Maliolus. Rufius. Maliolus. And finally, Domitius. Maliolus. Who else? Citizens, you have made your decision. What about me? Your new magistrate is Marcus Maliolus Gerges. Hail Magistrate Maliolus. Oh no. I said Hail Magistrate Maliolus. That's more like it. Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected your magistrate. And now I make this solemn promise to you, good citizens. Under my leadership, you will finally enjoy the freedom that you deserve. No more shall you walk on eggshells, fearing simply to live and breathe, because the tyrant Sentius told you it was forbidden. For my first act as magistrate, I hereby announce a day of celebration to mark the end of an era. The myth of the Golden Rule is no more. Oh God! The golden Rule is real, you with you. For his attempt to deceive us all, Sentius is hereby found guilty of treason against the Empire. What? I have committed no crimes. This is madness. His sentence to fight for his life in gladiatorial combat against Domitius. Here and now for your entertainment. Oh God. You have no idea what you're doing. You're going to get us all killed. Wait. I will not allow you to do this. You're showing your true colors now, priestess. Your corruption sickens me. Demetrius, ignore her. Proceed. This is insanity. You do. Lies. It is time the golden rule was exposed to what it is. Let me save right here, just in case. Exploited by a treacherous leader to instill fear in all of us. This is why he's in his gladiator gear. They've been planning this all along. Sh Seems everyone in the city is going to die because one person is breaking the golden rule. And if you're out who it is, tell Sentius you suspect him. Revealed himself to be an angry man with the history of crime. So, like, what do we do if we tell everyone? Shut up, all of you. The magistrate has spoken. I'm going to enjoy killing you, old man. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Run! Run! Oh my god! See that? Ah, oh, I don't like hearing that. <laughs> Thank you, Sentius. And now they'll never know. <laughs> It resets. Ah. Salve. Yes, hello, man. Oh. 
And you just stop Fabia entering the empty shrine until the new arrival will find out what he's looking for All in right, there. Let me see. Stop Fabia going in, but send the new arrival to the. I'll go, go as fast as but you can. Once I'm done, I'll need you to tell me how you know. Nope. Woo! That's awesome. Okay, um, chat, hold on for one sec. I'm, I need to run to the bathroom real quick, uh, and then we'll continue. So, BRB.